Hey guys, it's Rhonda from Immortal Colors here to do another pour for you today. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe as it helps my channel to grow. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Today we're going to do a pour on this 16 by 20 canvas. I'm going to do a grenade pour, which is you put a pin in the side of your cup, put your paint in, turn it upside down, and then you pull the pin like you would a grenade. And it releases the suction and then the paint flows. I'm going to try to do a marble effect or make it look like marble, I guess is what I want to say. Our colors today are Amsterdam. Dam Titanium White, Amsterdam Lamp Black, Folk Art Sterling Silver, my homemade Champagne Color, which is 50% gold, 50% silver, added with Floetrol, Artist Loft Burnt Umber, and Deco Art Americana Soft Gold. All my paints are mixed with Floetrol, water to thin if necessary. Two parts Floetrol, one part paint. Description is down, or my recipe is down in the description along with all my colors. All right, here we go. We're gonna start out with a good layer of white. And then we're gonna just put a thin layer of colors on here. And I'm only going to use three colors on a layer. So there I used the black, the silver, and the champagne. And now I'm going to put another layer of white over top. I'm going to pour this gently so it lays right on top. I don't want it to sink down in. And on this layer, we're going to put the burnt umber. The champagne. And the gold. And then we're going to go back in with another layer of white. I'm going to run out of white. And I need another layer. Okay, and on this one we're going to add some black. Some silver. Let's put some gold on this one. Alright guys, I'm going to be back. I gotta mix up some more white paint. Okay, guys, I mixed up some more paint. I'm gonna go ahead and put another layer on top here. Again, we're gonna put it on very gently. I'm just gonna fill it the rest of the way up. Okay. All right, and I'm going to cheat and do it this way. All righty. Give that a second to drip. I'm going to recap all my paints here so they don't dry out on me. All right, let's pull the pin. And off we go. As always, remember to put your pour cup upside down on your drip cup 
so that you can save that extra paint. All right, just give this guy a torch. Okay, let's see where the paint's at. There it is. Let's run down to this corner first. Then we'll bring it down to this one. This way next. Bring it this way. Go back to the middle. Let's see where do we want to go off first. I think we're going to go off this corner first. Let's just go ahead and do that. And bring it back to the middle. Go ahead and go down to this corner. One more corner to go, guys. Okay. Let's see. Turn this around. This way. And draw the paint down this way. more off this corner where it's pretty bare. Slow moving, but it's getting there. the other way some. Alright guys, well, I guess I want to turn it this way. Remember to scrape your edges or use your fingers. Uh, clean up my hands and I'll be back, give this a good clean up and torch it, and then I'll bring you in for a close up. <coughs> okay guys, I'm gonna go in here and scrape my edges again. And I will come back and do it again after 
maybe 10 minutes. Give us another torch. guys I'll bring you in for a close-up okay guys here we go with the close-up go over to the side so you can see it that's the corner where it had that big white patch that I took off I'm glad I did I like those results there And I'm liking this corner down here, too. I'm liking all of it. It looks good everywhere, in my opinion. I love this technique. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. We'll be back with the dry results. Okay, guys, here's a close-up of the, wet, or the dry results. I love the way this turned out. Next time I know I need to use a little less color for a more marbling effect, but I do love the way this turned out. Especially this corner down here. This is my favorite. And here where it actually is more marbly. All right, guys, if you haven't already given me a like and a subscribe, please consider doing so. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.